Hi everyone, my name is Chris Elsasser and I'm the principal at Nosset Regional High School. Thank you for visiting our YouTube channel for educational tutorials. In this video, I'll be talking about a day in the life of a student in our remote model. A day in the life of a student, the remote learning experience at Nosset Regional High School. We use something we call the front row strategy, which is a teaching strategy designed to put each student in the front row. We use this by asking four fundamental questions. How are you? What do you know? What can you do? And how can I help? Here's a typical day. We ask students to begin by checking their email, checking their Google Calendar, and going into their Google Classroom and checking their to-do list. The first class begins at 8.35. In this case, we'll imagine it's math. Each class is framed by a growth mindset represented here by the growing plant. This is our belief that over time and effort, all students can make progress. Class begins with the student being asked, how are you? This is designed to personalize the experience and allow the teacher and the student to get to know one another. Then there are recurring questions. What do you know and what can you do? The first question is about content. The second is about the skills being addressed in the class. Students then go on a break, step away from their computers, grab something to eat, get something to drink, take a little walk around. When they return to class, they're asked the same recurring questions. What do you know about the content that's being addressed? What can you do about the skills that we're covering? And students engage in active learning by demonstrating the content and skills that they're learning. Class ends by the teacher asking, how can I help? And this is where students have an opportunity to reflect on what went well, what they struggled with, and what they're hoping to learn in the future. Students then go on a break where we hope they can step outside, go for a walk, maybe have a conversation with somebody else in their space, and enjoy a little sunshine. Second class, in this case science, begins with another personal check-in. How are you? And the teacher goes into the content and the skills, constantly asking students, what do you know about the content that I'm addressing? What do you know about the skills that we are practicing? This portion of class is followed by a break, time for students to get something to drink, step outside, get a little sunshine. And return to their science class in this case, do some more active learning, perhaps a project, a science experiment, with the opportunity to engage with their teacher who is asking them the recurring questions. What do you know about the content and what can you do with regard to the skills? And this class ends with the question, how can I help? And this is where students are able to talk about what went well about the science class, what didn't go well, and what it is they're hoping to learn in the next class. Then there's lunch. Our hope is students have an opportunity to engage in conversation with somebody who's in their space, get something healthy to eat, recharge their batteries, step outside, get some sunshine, maybe go for a little walk before returning for the second part of their day. Let's imagine third class is painting. Begins, how are you? Opportunity for the student and the teacher to get to know each other on a more personal level. And then as the teacher addresses content and skills, the reoccurring questions take place. What do you know and what can you do? Following this session, students have a break, get something to drink, step outside, take a walk around, and then come back and actively engage in putting their skills into practice, making connections between the content they're learning and being asked the reoccurring questions, what do you know and what can you do? Class ends with a question from the teacher, how can I help? And this is where student in this case can reflect on how the painting went, what they understand about the content, what they found confusing, and maybe asking for some advice or giving the teacher some direction about what to cover in the next class.
There's a break between classes. Students step outside, go for a walk, hopefully interact with other people who are in their space, get a little sunshine before returning for the final class of the day. In this case, we imagine it's English. Starts with a check-in, how are you? Followed by content question and skills question. What do you know about what it is that we're learning? And what can you do with regard to the skills that we're addressing? Students are able to step away, get something to drink or eat, catch a little sunshine, and then return for the final session of the day where they're likely engaged in some activity, whether it's writing, reading, putting together a project, creating a presentation, where they have an opportunity to demonstrate for the teacher their understanding of the content and their ability with regard to the skills. And class ends, as the others have, with the question of, how can I help? Students are able to reflect what went well, what was confusing, what it is that they'd like to learn in the next session. And then we hope for all of our students, the day ends with opportunities for socializing and exercise.